Today in the crypto space, we see Bitcoin falling below that $40,000 level, down approximately 2%, and Ethereum taking a bigger hit, down approximately 6%, and deep in the red. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, are pretty much falling as well. There's some good fire sales throughout the market, guys. However, I am not absolutely bullish just yet. I'm expecting a continuation to the downside. So you know what? Let's talk about the news. Let's analyze the charts, and let's strategize to capitalize. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and let's get right into it guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome on the channel. We talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities. Whether we go up or down, bearish or bullish, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is stay one step ahead of this market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility. And if you appreciate the strategy, subscribe to the channel, click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, including the live streams at 730 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with this general market we can see that ultimately what's happening is that bitcoin is still dragging the market down and we're seeing ethereum uh, you know basically come down even further and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that right now bitcoin is showing a bit of dominance throughout the market and showing that altcoins at the end of the day are taking a bigger dip and ultimately what i'm waiting for is bitcoin to show me the way i want bitcoin to show me where we could eventually get to right i don't want to think about front running this market ultimately as long as we see bitcoin trekking to the downside and seeing the momentum to the downside i am not going to be making any major moves yeah i might dabble in dabble in here and there on some of the altcoins that are hitting horizontal support but overall i will start to get bullish and offensive basically start accumulating in dca when i see bitcoin give me a confirmation of a bottom okay so let's look at throughout this market ethereum coming down obviously down six six point six percent the last little while a bit of a dip uh, throughout the market here four four to five percent again on bnb solana another five percent we have doge coming down to those lower levels lower lows throughout the market we have cardano making that lower low and and the list goes on guys there's no point in me going through all of them you can see all of these little charts right here are pretty much the same they're all following the same trajectory which is lower lows to the downside right no signs of bullish divergence throughout the market just yet i feel like ultimately we should just at this current moment start coming up with a plan be try to stay one step ahead of this market be forward thinking because ultimately eventually this this, this bearish dip is going to end and then the question is what are you going to do about it are you going to be ready to buy those dips are you going to have cash on the side to ready to deploy you need that dry powder to take full advantage of these dips and then which projects are you going to consider dip buying the dip on right because ultimately there's so many so many projects here and at the end of the day you got to make that choice which one which one of these projects is going to make your portfolio for the up and coming bull run we do have a lot of dips throughout the market five to ten percent is pretty much the average as i can see some less some more monero looking okay uh, down three percent but you know uh, optimism down another 11 percent and the list keeps on going and deep in the red throughout the market v chain four percent not too bad but still grinding to the downside we have uh bit tensors showing a bit of strength here it is going sideways at least within range it has a range here and it's respecting that range at about 260 that's a very bullish things for uh, for bit tensor tau especially if we and when we see the market fully reset we see bitcoin fully reset to oversold conditions and the market starts to look bullish again bit tensor in the bearish sense went sideways in the bearish scenario and then what's going to happen in the bullish scenario could it be could this be the ultimate sign of strength for bit tensor could this make another huge impulsive move to the upside based on the fact that bit tensor is not even flinching based on this bearishness guys right now this is a sign of strength in the short term i see that bit tensor could eventually come down but right now bit tensor not very actionable it is still within range but holding up pretty strong let's continue going down here we see um 
Bitcoin SV, we see say kind of grinding down to the downside 21% from the top. I was glad to be able to warn you guys about not becoming exit liquidity on say on SUI, on many others. Although sometimes you do get a little bit pops to the upside where you get a bit of relief. Generally speaking here, guys, we're seeing a bit of a dip. Um, Algorand coming down, unfortunately, another 20% to the downside. We want these layer ones to recuperate and show strength because they're the ecosystem projects that are going to be hosting some of these uh, uh, nice micro caps that we're looking for and preparing for for the up and coming bull run so we want these layer ones to do well and as we continue going down you can see even the last seven days a lot of the projects are down approximately 20 percent some of them even more so on the daily we're down approximately five percent five to ten and on the weekly we're down approximately ten to twenty percent guys those are opportunities now i don't think that we're done here with this bearishness to be honest i feel like it is very very possible that we get a continuation to the ups downside after we get a bit of relief and this is all based on the four hour and this is what we talked about live yesterday and i let you know yesterday on um on my on the video regarding bitcoin that ultimately we're sh seeing that the four hour might be go looking for that bit of relief that dead cap bounce that right shoulder whatever you want to call it ultimately get a little bit of relief to the upside and then start breaking down again and Upon a break, another breakdown, guys, that would be super, super, super bearish. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we could expect that the, the entire dip is almost done. The majority of it, in my opinion, is already in. So could we come down a little bit further? Yes. What's the absolute bearish price target? Guys, I have two targets, of course, with Bitcoin. And uh, ultimately, Bitcoin is going to give me that indication of where I should be looking for altcoin um, buys, right? So let's be patient with Bitcoin. All right, guys. So generally speaking, the market is still coming down. we got to show a lot of strength here and a lot of conviction of course especially buying into those red days i know the sentiment is not the best but that's when your conviction gets tested on the red days all right guys i know you're here to talk about charts let's begin talking about bitcoin let's see what's going on here with bitcoin coming down almost hitting that thirty-eight thousand and change guys i expected to come down and get this bottom of the volume gap as a bit of support to be honest we didn't even actually touch it just yet but the the, the way the daily is looking right now it is very possible that we come down let's look at this in a little bit more detail here we can see that uh we got a bit of a buy up you know as we got closer to about 38 you can see that right here 38 600 i expected a little bit dipper a, a little bit lower to come down a, a, you know further down this dip but honestly it's not bad i do expect a continuation though and it's all about the momentum the daily momentum is not even oversold you can see that right here very clearly and we can also see that these two the ema and the rsi are a little bit spread apart which means that we could get a bit of relief to the upside on the four hour okay so let's keep that in mind as we look at this daily and the macd emas are facing down red histogram bars to the downside which also suggests just continuation to the downside here okay so what does that mean on the daily could we come down and actually hold this level and maybe get oversold at about 37 38k right around here very possible we got nice some nice highs here to look forward to as horizontal support and then ultimately we have that 200 daily right here guys the 200 daily is a great place to ex expect a bounce especially that we got a little bit of a volume gap here as well so what i don't want to do is rush what i would like to do is say wait for the daily to get oversold no matter how long it takes it could take a while we could get a bit of relief and hang around here and then come down and so on and so forth but we just have to be patient and ultimately getting oversold is what's going to get me into that bullish stance because i will be with a bit more confirmation that the bears could have been exhausted right especially once we see signs of bullish divergence signs of bullish divergence we start getting to the upside and then we start moving and start reclaiming previous highs and getting into price discovery and seeing bitcoin run for the bull run that's what we really want to prepare for but really what i'm going to be looking for at that point when we see a confirmation of a bottom on the daily are the altcoins i'm going to be scaling into those altcoins guys we're going to buy buy those bottom prices so that we can take full advantage of the fire sale but what about if it comes down even further than this level right you know my bearish price target is at about 25k that would be uh you know an absolute fire sale we've got a huge amount of volume gap here empty space and we begin a, a, a decent amount of volume to act as support right around 25k that could happen guys we can't negate the fact that that is a possibility don't be blindsided by only 
bullishness all the time. If we are in an ascending wedge or a broadening wedge right here, a megaphone pattern, we can eventually break down, break below the megaphone pattern and then slowly reclaim previous price action. So we got to anticipate that. Now, the reason why I'm anticipating the 25K, and this is my thesis, it's all about the weekly, okay? And I usually don't trade the weekly, but I have to keep it in mind. Why? Right now we're rolling over. And what's keeping me more bearish than ever is the MACD. Let me kind of stretch this up uh, a little bit and you can see the MACD right now is looking for an EMA cross. Could we get an EMA cross? Could we come down and get a few histogram bars to the downside? Could we come down as low as the bearish control zone? It's too early to tell. I get that but let's trade the daily and then if the daily gets oversold we'll quickly look at the, the weekly once the daily gets oversold and we see the weekly ema cross with the red histogram bar guys i'm still going to be a bit reserved because the daily could hang out in oversold conditions for a good while while the weekly gets resolved which means while the weekly might also be looking for oversold conditions this is my biggest problem right now and if the weekly gets oversold guys you can expect that 25k price target so what i'm going to really do here is play day by day week by week and i'm going to play it safe because ultimately we could be in a big pivot point where we come down and get a confirmation low a higher low and where is that going to be guys we don't know other than waiting for some confluence we had a nice fat low right here we ran up very nicely without a major retracement and all of a sudden now we could come down and get a confirmation low right around this zone it's very very possible now it doesn't have to be but if it did i wouldn't be surprised and i would be prepared both emotionally and and economically ready to buy those dips okay so that's my take here on bitcoin on the four hour we're still looking oversold like i said yesterday oversold potentially looking for a bit of a bounce let me zoom in here so we can see this in a little bit better you can see that we're making those lower lows on the price action and on the rsi we're still making a lower low we could be getting a bit of a relief here based on the fact that we're oversold and the macd might be looking for a bit of a bounce given that there is class a bullish divergence here on the a trend um indicator here the strength the strength of this trend right now there's getting some diver divergence so it should be understood that maybe a bit of relief is very possible i would like to get um into this uh, idea if we get a bullish divergence on the rsi and if we get a little bit closer to the bottom of the volume gap that would be interesting to see and then we want to see some structure here on the price action showing us that we're maybe making a double bottom some sort of pattern or something something that confirms that potentially we're making a change of structure here we're still a bit early even here on the four hour i don't want to front run this because it's getting a bit risky out here with regards to bitcoin and this dip right a lot of the sentiment right now is suggesting that we're going to continue to the downside and if we start going long against this whole um you know the bitcoin environment at the current moment you're basically trading against the trend which is a bit risky okay guys so that's my take here on bitcoin today's video is all about space let's take a look at space what's going on here with micro vision chain guys the only reason why i'm covering this right now is because the price action is looking really good okay that's all it is if you look at what the clarity that you're getting here out of this chart it's absolutely great you number one you got some nice tops right here let's go on the daily so that we can consolidate some of this price action into um basically get rid of all the noise you can see that we got some nice tops right here that could act as support you got nice bottoms here that have been acting as support you got to have a nice beautiful volume gap right into here that's showing a lot of weakness given the fact that you know we have a weak spot it's very likely and very easy for us to identify a, a potential bearish uh, target right bearish targets for me on this on a potential dip or continuation to the downside is the bottom of the volume gap and if we don't get support there guys there's levels down here that i would be interested in buying in obviously but one step at a time why because we need to wait for that daily to resolve itself the momentum right now is stuck in the chop zone for a good little while you can see this mo the momentum is keeping the price sideways tons of market participation in this level suggesting that, that people are buying and selling which is interesting to me and this could be even considered a very nice strong bull flag impulsive move sideways consolidation continuation to the upside now what about if we come down a little bit more that could be very possible i i anticipate a bit a bit of a risky scenario right here on these red arrows this is where i was saying guys scale out be protective of your gains because we made some massive ones we got into very overbought conditions we started seen signs of bearish divergence the macd ema cross red instagram bars and slowly we're grinding downwards so it's very likely this is look it looks like a corrective move the question is do we fall through the gap do we come down to lower levels maybe hitting about 14 dollars and 69 cents and for me that would be great but i need to see the daily oversold the same way i put this yellow box down here 
we have to wait sorry let me rearrange this let me reuse this box let's see if i can grab that successfully there we go and we'll put it right around here if we get down here guys it would be super bullish that's where i would be like looking for bullish divergence and looking for horizontal support and of course that level is at about 1490 um more or less 69 now if we do fall below that again we're gonna have to recalculate and reassess the scenario and that would mean a slightly lower levels i i don't anticipate it why because at the current moment, we're already getting some good signs out of the MACD. The MACD, it looks like we're getting a, a, a class A bullish divergence. We're getting these histogram bars going in the opposite direction in comparison to the price action. The price, price action is going sideways. It is a class B bullish divergence, given the fact that the price action is going sideways and the momentum is going upwards. And while the, the chop zone momentum is in the chop zone, totally fine. Now, if we get oversold, again, by the dip, we could see a bit of a dip in the MACD as well. The EMAs are still facing down with red histogram bars but uh, ultimately i kind of like this posture i like his posture because it looks like it may want to hold up here it's very possible not you know obviously it's not enough confirmations to get totally totally bullish but dca is a viable strategy as of now if you would have taken profits here and here you would have been in a very net positive scenario given the fact that we uh, you could buy at a lower level right now it doesn't look like a lot but let's say your average exit was right around here and you're able to dca right now at this level it's at a 18 percent discount that you're getting okay now if we fall through the gap you can think about it you can now get a 36 percent discount which is decent and if we go a little bit lower you're looking at a 50 percent discount which is um, of course amazing you get basically to, uh, the ability to double down now how low we're we gonna go we gotta wait for that daily okay we gotta wait for the daily for sure now i'm wondering what the weekly looks like quick weekly looks like it may get a bounce to the upside i like two little confirmations or two impulsive moves on momentum to get that confirmation that maybe we're going to roll over so it's still very immature at the moment let's look at the four hour for a second the four hours in the chop zone not very actionable as you can see the price action and momentum is stuck within a range and not very volatile we need volatility so that we can start trading this thing so we need to get oversold so that right now we can see that the four hour is not even giving in anything to us the daily is giving us this clarity it's the daily right now so really what we want to do is get some confirmation that this retracement is over and it's likely to dca uh, give us the opportunity to dca right now and to be honest i'm a bit skeptical about it given that bitcoin is still pushing down and of course down here is where i would get absolutely interested $14.50 is my target especially once we get oversold here on the microvision momentum to the downside all right guys if i've offered you any value you know what you gotta do you gotta slap that like button it does really help out with the algorithm i'm gonna be live tonight at 7 30 eastern talking about crypto news and price action if you have any projects you want me to cover that is a great time and place to make those requests and i'll put them in top priority guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip